Hello and welcome to this little demo of Smart Shaders plugin for Cinema 4D. I want to focus on the new update 1.5. You can get the plugin on tools4d.com and I'm not sure about the price right now, but you can check it there. I think there's a special going on. So I want to show you the new multipass shader and how you can use it for rendering out mats for shaders. So here I have a little scene with two objects and if I render this out to the picture viewer you can see I have set up a multipass with specular and diffuse and now my goal is to render out a pass for the materials. So first what you can do is you go to any material, in this case the horns, and inside of the color shader I will insert a multipass shader. So as you can see this list is already different as you expected and this is a feature of smart shader. Um, if you shift click on this error, it will show you only a list of the last used um, shaders. So these are the shaders I use most often. So you get a quicker access to the most important shaders. And here I find the smart multipass. And inside of this shader you have the filter shader which was already in the color channel and here you can just add a buffer and what this will do it will add a buffer channel to your render settings and you can just rename this to whatever name and you will see here a list of the supported multi-pass channels which you can assigned to this material. This is not updating because you need to enter again to this shader so you can see the name of this pass here. So this is a grayscale pass because it's a buffer so you can only render out grayscales to this uh, buffer it got a ID and yeah you can just hit render and see what that gives you as you can see here we have the horn mat and this gives a uh, alpha for the materials that or the objects that have this material assigned I can also go ahead and make the same thing for the helmet material. I add another buffer and call this helmet and this gives me a new buffer called helmet. And what's really good is if you save this out as a PSD your channels will get the same name that you assigned here. So your PSD will contain these names on, and that is something I think Cinema should have by default but it doesn't. So with Smart Shaders you get this feature. Okay so now I want to uh, try something else. I want to render out one RGB mat for different materials and this is possible if you use a RGB channel in the multipass so I will use the material environment channel for this I just call this RGB mat and now I can go inside my materials and um, do a multipass shader for each material that is assigned to this channel. Okay, so I will start by creating a layer shader and I do that because I want to hide the multipass shader 
beneath the color shader because I want um, the result of this not to be visible in the um, beauty pass and therefore I hide it beneath the smart uh, the color shader here so I go inside here let's find it and I will drag it beneath the already existing and here I will add a color shader and assign a bright color to get this color in my mat. And this time I, I don't add a buffer because the buffers are only grayscale buffers. So I will use this RGB mat, which is actually my, or it was my material environment channel. Okay, so if I render this out now, you can see I have here the RGB mat and here's my red ma mat for the horns. I can now go inside my other channels and let's just copy this one here. And now in this material I also add a layer shader. I paste the multipath and as you can see if this is on top my material gets affected but if this is beneath the usual material I, I don't see it in the render I, I will only see it in this path so I will change the color for this material to yellow and I will do another one for the sword Oh no, that's the main helmet. Let's make a layer. Let's paste the multipass, drag it beneath. Let's change the color. And let's do another one. Paste the material, the shader here and change the color. Let's make it pink. Okay, so if I render this, you see you get one pass with different materials. And this is great because you need only one, one pass to get a buffer for many objects or materials. So this was the basics of Smart Shaders Multipass Shader. And there's a lot of more you can do, and but I, I will leave it as is and you can uh, figure out more ways to use this shader and I wish you a lot of fun and hope it will enhance your workflow. And I promise you, you will not regret it. Bye bye.